Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all super well today. This video will be a little bit different uh, because it is a requested uh, video. So shout out goes to Riem, Chaliem and all of you who actually send me private messages to do this video. We are gonna to talk about my daily routine, diet and exercise. So guys, if you are interested, please keep watching. Before I start, I would just uh, let you know that I'm not a doctor, I've never studied medicine, so all information here provided are only from my personal experiences and um, from the doctor that I'm seeing every three months currently. So please take it as such. And also before I tell you uh, my current situation, I would just go a little bit back so you get an insight of why am I at the stage where I am, because otherwise it doesn't make sense. I will try to go through it very quickly so you don't get too bored. I grew up in Europe. I uh, had a pretty much healthy lifestyle, even without knowing organic. Uh, my mom would cook every day and we would eat organic food because it was grown in our gardens, all vegetables and fruits. I would be very active child because my dad was a sportsman. So he would brought me up loving all sports and I still do. Uh, except running guys I do not like running so I was always active never had issues with my weight um, I would say from teenage age uh, my weight hasn't changed much it's fluctuated sometimes two three kilos up and down but I would say from my 30s I would uh, really watch out what I'm eating uh, because obviously metabolism changes and um, yeah I can't allow myself to eat whatever I feel like like when I was 20 when I was a teenager, I moved different countries and I was not big on cooking um, and I'm still not. Uh, I'm not a big lover of cooking. So for me, food was only a mean of, um, you know, not feeling hungry and uh, get some energy. But I've never loved it as such. I never wanted to learn about food. I went on this crazy vegetarian diet but I was really, really bad vegetarian. Then moved to Australia and my life consisted of work, uh, studying and eating unhealthy, not sleeping enough. All that combined with getting older and combined with stress resulted in my lot of health issues. I um, did not feel good. My GP at the time uh, told me I'm fine. He'd done several tests and I was fine in his eyes. Um, I self-diagnosed myself through different Google channels and I was successful. Guys, I would not recommend to anyone, if you do not like the doctor, don't trust the doctor that you see, just change. Change doctors. I was just lucky at the time that I diagnosed myself correctly. I uh, was obviously treated for my diagnosis and um, it took me several years uh, to get better. Uh, finally, afterwards, I found a doctor that I trust. And now I see this doctor for 10 years, every three months. I get my blood test done and she got me to a stage where I am at this stage. So I went through, I would say, long journey. Long journey of a lot of diagnosis, health issues and uh, tests. Uh, but yeah, I trust the doctor that I'm seeing and therefore I follow all these um, medical diets that she gave me. Uh, I was on a lot of supplements, uh, whatever medication that you can dream of, I would say. But you know what? I started to feel better so I knew that there is um, a light at the end of the tunnel. The doctor taught me a lot of things as well. I went through different medical diet. Um, and at one point I lost too much weight and I do not like to be very, very skinny. After the diet, I tried to put on weight again. So I found in my life a weight that I like and I'm comfortable, happy at, and I think uh, every single person should uh, set up their own goal uh, and they should know their own weight. I mean, we are all different and we feel differently in our own skin. For me, I do not like put on weight because um, all my knees and ankles start hurting so I control what I eat. 
When I started to have an energy, obviously I started to exercise again because um, when my health started to deteriorate, it, I really did not have an energy to exercise. Um, I was living at a place that was a swimming pool, so I would swim every night for an hour. I would do long walks. I don't know if you watched my previous videos, but I mentioned several times that I had a few surgeries and uh, I fortunately can't do all sports that I love. Uh, at least not to the level that I used to uh, but I still enjoyed some of them but I found out that uh, Pilates reformer is the right sport for me to do at this stage in my life since I have a lot of lower back issues it really strengthens your core because it builds up your muscles and I've been doing now Pilates reformer on and off for like 13 years and I love it. I cannot really live without it because as soon as I stop my muscles just decline and I start feeling ache and pain and it's just not good. So I do Pilates reformer four times a week. I used to do it every day then the muscles build up too much and I just don't like it on females but I attend Pilates reformer class in the morning. I love to wake up, have a cup of coffee and go and uh, have my morning exercise. I feel much more energized through the day uh, and I try once a week to do long walks as I live close to the beach. I love beach, I love water so once a week I try to go for long walks and that's it. I don't do really much more than here and there swimming and you know like winter sports skiing and uh, other different sports but this is the one that i do regularly the pilates reformer is amazing if you need to strengthen your core which support your back i love it it really helped me especially with my issues uh, obviously i had few surgeries so it's always like on and off when i have a surgery two months i am usually off and then you have to go back which is really hard but it always pays off i am trying to follow healthier lifestyle and diet through the whole journey with my doctor i had to change uh, to all organic products i uh, am not using any longer regular perfumes if i want i do all the essential oils but just sell them and no deodorants. I uh, am using organic shampoo, conditioner. I mean, these days organic is very well uh, known. Australia, unfortunately, marks product organics that are not really 100% organic. So I had to do a lot of research and um, I found my cosmetics that I'm happy with. I found other products that I'm happy with, but obviously. I did my journey and I went through so many of them. Each of us is different, so you have to find your own products that you are happy with. Now, my whole journey was uh, pretty long, guys. I mean, I'm not going to go into details, but it was quite long. But um, I'm happy where I am at this stage uh, with my exercise. Uh, I feel really good. Uh, Health-wise, I am pretty much there. I just um, have to... At this stage, uh, be on an autoimmune paleo diet. You can read about it, it's uh, a long story. But I always try to eat as fresh food as possible. So I'm not big on breakfast, so usually I have just a piece of fruit in the morning and afternoon. And I've got two meals a day lunch and dinner. Uh, that consists of lean meat or fish with vegetables. Uh, I used to eat um, rice, potatoes, but obviously with this autoimmune paleo diet, I can no longer eat it, but it will be not for the rest of my life. It's just a little bit longer process. You can read about it if you want. I mean, it does not hurt if you do it. For me, it improves my health. I can feel the differences straight away, especially if I don't eat sugar, which, as I said, I'm just a human, so I do have my ups and downs um, like anyone else and I do enjoy my sweets but yeah I can get back to my healthy life living uh, very quickly I'm quite strong will but yes guys I did have a long journey 
I went through a lot of ups and downs because sometimes it is frustrating if you don't see the results straight away, but never give up. Never give up because at the end it is worth it. The difference, if you would see me, let's say 10 years ago when I started seeing the doctor and now is enormous. And when I just look at that, it always gives me strength to continue. Everyone has to find their own diet that suits them, what you eat, what not. But I heard this doctor, and I just can't remember his name, but he said this uh, thing that it's so right. Um, if you go to a supermarket, always pick the item that does not have a barcode. And it's so true. Every single product that you see with barcode, it's not fresh. It's got a lot of additives. So you don't even need to read ingredients. It's any barcodes is already somehow processed and these days we have so much processed food on the shelves because of a busy lifestyle because we don't have enough uh, time to cook but guys there are excuses there are excuses like for me not searching medical help because i was busy when i was sick um, we always have excuses we are just humans and it's easier to have an excuse i fully understand but the bottom line is it's up to us to choose the life that we want to live. And, um, you know, for some, they have a longer journey, much harder journey. Uh, some of us, they have a very easy journey because they are blessed with very good genes. The healthy living and healthy lifestyle is something that is very important. As you know, sugar, stress, it's the biggest killer these days of human, right? So I am living a pretty much very comfortable life. I'm happy, I am uh, exercising regularly and I'm trying to eat healthy. As I said, I do have my bad days, but um, I try to get up as quickly as possible because I know that the consequences uh, would be very harsh. So guys, I hope you can achieve whatever you set up for yourself. Um, you can be happy who you are. I think all humans are beautiful, doesn't matter what size they are, how big, how small they are. The most important is that you feel good in your own skin. Look, there are a lot of people that they don't have a choice, they don't have a choice uh, to go on a diet or uh, to live a healthy lifestyle. And um, therefore, I feel very privileged that um, I can live healthy lifestyle if I opt to do so and therefore I want to. So guys, I wish you all the strength that you can have to do whatever you set up to do for yourself. I hope you are all healthy and um, happy and if you've got any questions guys whatsoever please leave them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to send you also the address and contact details on my doctor but she's in Sydney and thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, have a lovely day and I hope to see you in my next video. Ciao guys!